students this is your first recording i am doing for class 9 and we are looking at exponents and indices chapter 6 to begin with i have already taught this topic in the online classes but in this recording all four sections of 9 will be able to learn i think you have already done exponents and indices in class 8 so we will begin with the study of the laws the first law we are going to look at is the product law which says a to the power of m to the into a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m plus n a to the power of m into a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m plus n this is the law let us use it in a question question 1 part 1 of the exercise exercise 6 question 1 part 1 we have 3a to the power of 7 b to the power of 8 c to the power of 9 into 5 to a to the power of 27 b to the power of 16 c to the power of 8 now first and foremost you can multiply the numerals 3 fives are a add the powers 7 plus 27 we are applying the law a to the power of m into a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m plus n A to the power of seven into a to the power of twenty-seven. Add the powers. Same also for b. B to the power of eight into b to the power of sixteen. Add the powers. C. Nine plus eight. Okay. Now let us complete this. The answer is three fives are fifteen. A to the power of thirty-four. b to the power of 24 c to the power of 17 this is how you use product law as we have shown or learned in question 1 part 1 moving on to the second law the second law is called quotient law a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m minus n another way to say it is a to the power of m divided by a to the power of m is a with the power in the numerator minus the power in the denominator the question we will look at is part 8 One part eight of exercise six. What does it say? One part eight. Four x y square into minus five x y cube whole by ten x square y square. now this question has both the laws we have already used product law and also we will use quotient law now let's take the numerals together first 4 into minus 5 by 10 now look at x when there is no power the power is 1 x to the power of 1 plus 1 that power is added minus 2 add the powers in the numerator subtract the power in the denominator y to the power of 2 plus 3 minus 2 adding the powers in the numerator 2 plus 3 and subtract 
Finally, your answer. 5 twos are, 2 goes here. You get minus 2. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 minus 2, x to the power of 0. y to the power of 2 minus 2 will cancel. 3. The answer would be minus 2y cube. Now, in this step, we are looking at adding the powers in the numerator x to the power of 1 x to the power of 1 we add the powers in the numerator and we subtract the power in the denominator according to quotient law a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n same with y y to the power of 2 add the power 2 plus 3 and then subtract that is how we apply quotient law the third law is called power law. A to the power of m whole to, whole to the power of n is equal to A to the power of m into n. Let us do one question to understand power law. We will look at part 17 1 part 17 minus 3 to the power of 8 whole to the power of minus 2 and then again to the power of minus 1 by 4 if you look at this question it is somewhat like this inside the bracket and then there is one more bracket so what we will do is we'll first take this innermost bracket minus 3 to the power of 8 and then to the power of minus 2 we multiply as in power law a to the power of m whole to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m into n once that is done then you can move outside to the next bracket so minus 3 to the power of minus 16 now once you have multiplied this got minus 16 now open the bracket using the same law a to the power of n to the power of n and multiply minus into minus will become plus 4 fours are minus 3 to the power of 4 or you can write 3 to the power of 4 or just write the answer at the end 3 3's are 9, 9 9's are 81. That is your final answer. In this we have learnt how to apply power law. When the there is a power like this, a to the power of m, whole to the power of n. Then we multiply these powers, a to the power of m into n. Minus 3 to the power of 8, whole to the power of minus 2, we multiply 8 into minus 2. Then we got 16. And then we multiplied it by minus 1 by 4. So our final answer is as it is on the board. Moving on, we can now look at something which we call the negative index or fractional index law. Negative index and I'm looking at both of these together fractional index law now what what does the negative index law say if you can see this it's also there in your book a to the power of minus m is equal to 1 by a to the power of m if the power is negative in the numerator then it becomes positive in the denominator and fractional index means nth root of a if a is having nth root then it can be taken as a fractional power 1 by n just like that now moving on let us do one question to understand this method part 20 of Question 1, where we can now apply the negative index law 
and the fractional index law together. The question is cube root of 54 to the power of minus 1 divided by cube root of 24 to the power of minus 2. If you look at this question, if you look at this question, within the brackets you have fractional index law and outside the bracket you have negative index. We can use that. Now 54, let us break it up into brackets, into factors. 54 can be written as 2, breaking it into factors. So 2 into 3 to the power of 3. So 54 is 2 to the power of, uh, 2 into 3 to the power of 3 and the fractional power 1 by 3. We are using fractional index law. When we have third root, I can write it as 1 by 3 and then power minus 1 divided by doing the same thing this side. Break it up into factors 2, 12, 6, 2, 3. So we have 2 to the power of 3 into 2 into 3. 2 to the power of 3 into 3 is 24. And then we have power 1 by 3 because third root is 1 by 3. And then further we have the negative power. Continuing, if you look at this opening the bracket according to power law, the power here is 1, 2 to the power of 1 into 1 by 3, 1 into 1 by 3, so I can write that directly and then 3 into 3 to the power of 3 into 1 by 3. This negative power I am still keeping outside over here, 2 to the power of 3 power is multiplied by power law 3 to the power of 1 by 3 whole to the power of minus 2 continuing this cancels watch this 2 to the power of 1 by 3 into minus 1 makes it 2 to the power of minus 1 by 3 3 the power has cancelled so the remaining power is 1 3 to the power of minus 1 and this is divided by, this is cancelled, so we have 2 to the power of minus 2 and this is multiplied, so we get 3 to the power of minus 2 by 3. Now continuing over here, this whole part is divided by this. So I am continuing here, 2 to the power of minus 1 by 3 into 3 to the power of minus 1 by, because we are dividing, 2 to the power of minus 2 into 3 to the power